I think it was like Frank and Deviant. Debian Frankenstein. Don't break Debian. This is this is a, the article I was thinking. Uh, this is a great article advice for new users. Let's say you're a hardcore Ubuntu user and you're like, Ubuntu, you're dead to me. I'm moving to Debian. Don't break Debian is probably the most important article you will ever read as a Debian user. I can't, I can't emphasize this enough. Follow these points. Don't use GPU manufacturer install scripts. Don't make it Frank and Debian. This is kind of talking about grabbing repos of Ubuntu and then putting them on Debian. Oh, please, please don't. Please don't use Ubuntu PPAs. Don't use Ubuntu repos. Debian's Debian, Ubuntu's Ubuntu. They do different things, and Ubuntu have made some weird choices along the years. So uh, it's, it's, it's really not the same. <laughs> so really important. Don't use install scripts, which I don't even know. Do Does NVIDIA still use their like dot .run script and crap? I hope not, uh, but if you do need to install uh, NVIDIA scripts, do them the Debian way, not the bad way. I think he even made a video once about showing a run script. Oh my God, the comments were hilarious. They, they skewered me as they should have. Don't suffer shiny new stuff syndrome, meaning installing a bunch of new stuff. Uh, that's, that's bad. If you want new stuff, honestly though, uh, I would say learn to build from source like I have done for like my NeoVim, I was like, I gotta have the new stuff. But let's say I didn't know how to do that. I would move to Arch. Let's say I was a little bit more of a, a beginner user. I think Arch would be more friendly to me for the shiny new stuff syndrome. If that's you, you probably shouldn't be using Debian. So important, important note. Uh, let's see, configure make. I, I always like to do make and then make sudo make install at the end. So I don't mind that. Don't final, don't blindly follow bad advice. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of old tutorials on the web. So watch out if it's like plus three, three plus years old, chances are it's a bad tutorial and things have changed in the realm. So don't do that. Don't blindly remove software. I probably should read this one closer as I have been known to blindly remove software from time to time. Not as bad as the whole do what I say scenario, but I've been known to blow some stuff out that I probably shouldn't have. Build for Building from source. Yeah. It's a good idea to build and run as a normal user in the user directory. Auto make. Okay, cool. Yeah, pretty cool. And this is just like virtualization ch root. It does show LXC here. I really should explore. I need to do an LXC stream coming up soon because I'd really like to explore LXC. Uh, Ubuntu PPA. We're not going to use any Ubuntu PPAs. Don't don't use Ubuntu PPAs on Debian. That's uh oh, it's it's actually written in the guide. Don't prank in Debian. Sometimes it works, but it's not. Not something you should be doing. And and a lot of Ubuntu PPAs are kind of going to the wayside. I think even Ubuntu's abandoning the PPAs. Yeah, you, you it'll work, but don't use PPAs in Debian. That's that's not what you should be doing. Build from source or get a Debian repo. If it's a if it's an Ubuntu repo, don't use it. Unless it's like some proprietary crap you can't build. But if you can build it from source build it from source, you're going to have a much better system. Yeah, but I, I did do that during the first <laughs> the first install. I'm glad you guys brought it up because I've, I've broken a system with a... I don't know if I broke it, though. It just acted a little funky after doing a lot of Ubuntu PPAs on Debian. Not something I'd ever recommend. 